a gym nightclub. It's all I know, okay? It's a gym that is also a nightclub where they drink shots afterwards. I saw this Twitter video and I pulled up some more clips to look into it. Charlie just made a video about it on his channel. I didn't watch because I wanted to be surprised because on its face, it looks fucking ridiculous, as I'm sure it is. If you're single and looking for someone who's into fitness but who also gets down on the weekends, I found your people. Grit Boxing is a full body strength treadmill and boxing class in a nightclub setting. The best part is that at the end of the class, there's a party at the front of the studio with an open bar. So everybody is super sweaty, but they're taking shots and flirting. Even the bartender took off his shirt. He's super hot and was feeding people champagne. It's the most fun workout in New York by far. Okay. On its face seems ridiculous. It seems nuts. So many things were wrong with it. From the actual workout itself, having the fucking nightclub lights going seems awful. Afterwards, drinking immediately after you just sweated out all your toxins seems like you might pass out after two shots. The idea of drinking after working out just seems counterintuitive immediately. Everyone's sweaty and flirting. Gross. So many things wrong with it. So I wanted to look more into it. So what I got pulled up is a news story covering it because it's called Grit Boxing. It's in New York City. Actually, let's first look at their website. Okay, this is their website. Special intro offer. You get a full handle of Grey Goose when you sign up. Free book and choose where you want to start. Bags, floors, treadmill. First time, be on time. And that means arriving 10 minutes early. We'll get you your wraps and gloves, show you to your station, and then get ready to sweat and smile. And drink. Where's the drinking? The cool down, lengthen the muscles and lower the heart rate and hell yes, celebrate. Celebrate the new and more powerful you. Hit the showers, meet a new friend from class at the grip bar, conquer the world, welcome to grit. All right, interesting sales pitch here. Uh, there's so much more here, but let's get into the news story. Coming up, the gym with a full bar. We're checking it out next on World News Now. <laughs> God, news stories. I still always forget. I just never look at news stories. Boxing, weightlifting, running. Oh, my. <laughs> Group fitness class has it all. Boxing, treadmills, weight training, a full bar. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, more on that later. We got to sweat first. I got to get through the insanity of the story and the fucking narration. Oh, man. And a full bar? What? Say who? We're the only gym with three modalities. So we have boxing, treadmills, and weights. Uh, it's a killer workout. We knew that it had to be full body. Uh, you know, Everyone we, looks we in shape so far. That workout, which promises to burn about 700 calories in just 50 minutes, developed... 700 calories in 50 minutes? <laughs> oh, wow. We are getting intense in there. They have to have like fucking like gyrators on you, just vibrating your entire body to be able to burn that many calories that fast. That is nuts. Uh, if I'm running full pace at like 7.5 on a treadmill, maybe eight, maybe even nine. I don't know. Maybe I'm sprinting in 30 minutes. I'm not fucking burning more than maybe 300. 700 is crazy. Diva Zanker. Her dad, Bill, is the brains behind the business, bringing in big names like Tony Robbins and Pitbull to get grit going. Tony Robbins and Pitbull. Huh. Worldwide. Bill making sure Grit's instructors' salaries pack a punch of their own. They owe up to a thousand dollars an hour. What is this hour. operation? This is getting weirder and weirder in different directions. What's going on? <laughs> I guess professional coaching, a thousand dollars an hour is a weird way to put it, but they're getting paid well for their classes. And the studio itself also looking like a million bucks. Yeah. Literally. Where are they getting the money from? The Anchor fam spent on the lights, sound, and bling inside the studio. This thing's kind sound. of funny. Like, what is this? Like, is it supposed to be made of diamonds? <laughs> like a punching bag that you just hit? Ah! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, why do we make this? It's unusable. But what about the workout itself? Time for me to put my money where my mouth is. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Do this, baby. First station, boxing. Minutes into the class, sweating like crazy. Though that could have been my proximity to the instructor, Anthony. Next station, the floor. Squats, push-ups, and weights. If you feel the need to bust a move, get to the drinking. You're allowed to. In station three. It really is just like a nightclub setting. That's crazy. They're fully committed to the theme. A series of sprints, runs, and recoveries. But before class is over, a lightning round. One last chance to burn calories in each station. One, one last time. chance and to burn those calories. Over, you're ready for a celebration. I mean, it's got to be the craziest motherfuckers that go here, right? Everyone's got to be insane. They got to be full smile all the time. Let's crush our workout. Let's do it. Let's crush it. <laughs> We're going to kill it. We're going to kill it today. Come on. <laughs> There's no way you go to this gym without Luckily, being that kind of person. To too far to treat yourself. 
Grit is the only workout studio with a full bar. And that's where the third member of this anchor fam comes in, Dylan. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> You're telling me this idea was a son's decision, who I hope doesn't work out at all, and he's like, hey, I'll man the back. The margaritas have electrolytes in them, so you can feel good after your class. Uh, we also have mocktails, we have cold brew, kombucha. The drink specifically designed for an after-workout boost. Specifically designed for an after-workout boost. Did you not hear the man? He just said they serve alcohol back there. That's not specifically designed for that. Gym and tonic, anyone? I love the idea of it though, that it's like, and the third member of the family, Dylan, an alcoholic. He doesn't even work out. He just kind of sits behind the bar all day. He never comes into the boxing room at all, actually. Do you say gym and tonic, or are you just making that line? Do you say gym and tonic? Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, no. Gym and tonic, anyone? Oh, <laughs> God, I missed that one. Streets of NYC, just keep your eyes peeled for the punching bag and gloves. Oh, oh, why do we punch this every day? Covered in Swarovski crystals, the gym's window display was actually designed by Bergdorf window designer Sarah Sparkles. Sarah Sparkles? How a fucking Powerpuff girl name is that? Classes cost about 30 bucks each. That's not actually terrible. 30 bucks each for that? That's not terrible. All right, that was a news puff piece. Okay, all right, let's look at the other video. Well plus good. Okay, so this is like another fucking like workout channel or something covering it. Yeah, that dog is, is begging to be ascended to Christ. The dog wants out of there. That dog is like, I would rather have Logan Paul as my owner right now than be here. This is what I want to be the thumbnail. Grady wants you. How's boxing? He's pretty good. He's a boxer. Yeah. He's a boxer. <laughs> this is What the Wellness, the show where I try out the latest and greatest wellness trends and experiences to find out what's weird and what's actually worth it. Okay. I'm in grit boxing. There's in no New way York she City, says it's worth it. Which is pretty much like the hottest clue. That's a wild poster. <laughs> I'm in the workout gear with the fucking champagne. Backed by Pitbull and Tony Robbins. Oh, you left that out in the first video, ABC. Is it backed by them or were they just there? The first video, I swear to God, they said they just came and showed up, right? Am I crazy? Her dad, Bill, is the brains behind the business, bringing in big names like Tony Robbins and Pitbull to get grit going. A 50 minute all in, I'm going to be dead after this workout that's going to work every part of my whole calories. entire body. And they have a bar. So after you finish that insane workout, you can come up to their recovery station, which is just a full bar. So their goal is to really foster community around the class that you take. Look, I wouldn't have a bad issue with this. I think it would work if it was like, hey, come back later tonight and we'll celebrate or come back this weekend. You know, all the people that you were just in a class with, like, yeah, let's all drink together. But immediately after the workout, right after the workout, come on all sweaty and gross. You just said you burned 700 calories in 50 minutes. That is the worst smelling room I could have fucking imagine outside of like a Smash Bros tournament. Charlie said that word for word in his vid, bro. Oh, fuck. I didn't watch his vid. I swear, I didn't watch his vid. I swear, I didn't want to be spoiled. Did he also think this was funny? <laughs> this thing, I still think it's hilarious. Yo, you got to punch it on the way out. Everyone punches it on the way out. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's broken. And what about the idea behind grit? Where did that come from? So I tried literally every single studio in New York. There wasn't any studio I didn't try, but I left every studio feeling very alone. And there was this lack of community that I, I felt that. from going to all these studios. And I knew I wanted to create a space where not only can you have a great workout and really work hard, but also have a place to hang out, connect with people afterwards. And that's where we brought in the idea of the bar. Why not like a coffee shop? kind of could solve the same issue, you know? What you were looking for is like a sorority. 50 minutes of hard work, but then you leave the studio and you go get a margarita. It's all about that work hard, play hard balance. And I so play super fucking dogs. hard. I play so hard. Oh, I play so hard. You gotta see me after the workout. I play ridiculously hard. All about the core. It's all about the core. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Head low, head tucked, head tucked. Cover yourself, cover yourself with the right hand. Cover your right side. Yeah, I know a thing or two. I go here every weekend. Everyone looks in great shape. I mean, you know, I talk all this shit. Everyone looks incredible here. You want a vodka soda after this? <laughs> oh yeah, bet, I'm a good drink now. You would drink <laughs> while on the treadmill. All right, here we go. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. There's no way you're going to be so nauseous. Right now. Take a little sip. Little baby sip. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
My mom, my mom's a fucking alcoholic. You're kind of so busy just trying to focus on what you're doing and making sure you're following the cues that you don't realize how hard you've been working for whatever, 30 minutes by the time I got to the treadmill. And so when I was sprinting out over there. And then by the time we drank and we left the bar gym, I mean, I couldn't even remember what the fuck even happened in there anyway. So it's pretty much like I burned 1500 calories. Right? And I think what was the most impressive part of the class was that the water fountain had vodka in it. I feel like they've done such a good job of making sure that their trainers know what's going on. Because God, no one else in that room knows what's going on. I mean, half the people pop molly the other half are on acid i don't know where the fuck i am i feel like our fitness studios have really become a place where we go to see our friends or we go to make friends and i think God, combining so such a <laughs> so many fucking gross jokes are coming to my head right now <laughs> and i think it's great that they've really taken the fitness space to the next level and enabled that enabling what sorry what are we enabling enabled that kind of fostering of community. Oh, enable that fostering of community. That's what we're enabling. Okay, nothing else. We're not enabling anything else. Want more What The Wall Is? Subscribe to Melinda's YouTube channel right now. Oh, she seems nice. I would have imagined her say something about the health contradiction of this, but you know, whatever. Want more What The Wall Is? Subscribe to Melinda's YouTube channel. Is it weird? I still want to definitely try this place. I want to review this place. I, I want to go. Let's go back to their website for a final investigation. After 500 auditions and countless hours of sweaty class at our lab, Brit picked nine superstars from all over the world. They have been on covers of magazines, modeled for the hottest agencies, and trained the biggest celebrities. And it's weird that like on a cover of magazines, like that's like a big selling point. Interesting, interesting. Ex pro soccer player turned actor, NBA dancing, Brooklyn Nets. What are these backgrounds? Her classes will be like a chilled shot of tequila, refreshing and energizing. <laughs> Why didn't I audition? I, I didn't know they were happening. I'd be there. I mean, I get to meet Pitbull, the Grit Bar, a full service liquor bar, a place to hang, get a, get a mocktail or a cocktail, meet new friends, celebrate the new grit in you. We got the cast of Jersey Shore. That's the end of the page. I thought we were gonna scroll down and get more information. That's the page. Okay, FAQ. Do I bring my own water? No, we have all the fucking alcohol you need. I will do this. I will do this when I'm in New York, I promise. All right, that is fucking uh, Grit Boxing. That is our segment with Grit Boxing. Hopefully I say more that than was just in Charlie's video. Hopefully I will get to experience a class there a month and a half from now. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit, but I'm down to go do a class. Possibly live stream that bitch if they let me. I will get wasted.